Hello, David Walpin here, partner in the Weiss Rota Healthman Law Firm at our Fort Lauderdale office. What you're about to see is a public records request training video which we have created for the use of our existing uh, municipal clients and other uh, interested parties. It shows a potential encounter between a city employee and a public records uh, requester. Hi, I'm here to get some records. Okay, no problem. Fill out these forms and I'll be happy to help you. No, I don't want to fill out these forms. Well, you have to fill out these forms. That's the city policy. What's your name anyway? I don't want to give you my name. Well, you need to give me your name. And why, why do you want these records anyway? Because I do. Well, there has to be a reason for you to want these records. And these are a lot of records here. I mean, this is a lot of work. Well, those are the records I want. Well, I don't know. I mean, I'll have to see, because these are a lot of records. And weren't you in here yesterday asking for records? I mean... I know, but those are different records. Well, we're really busy. So why don't you come back tomorrow and we'll see what we can do then. Based on the short skit that everyone just saw, were you able to catch the five non-compliance issues that occurred? First, the city employee required that the customer fill out a form in order to complete the request. However, a public records request can be made in any form, whether oral or written, and you cannot require that someone fill out specific paperwork. Second, the city attorney mandated that the customer give his name. This is also not appropriate. You may ask for information necessary to contact an individual in order to make the requested records available to them. However, you cannot require that they give their names. Third, the city employee asked the customer the reason why he wanted the records. Florida's public records laws do not require that someone give a reason for their request, and the city cannot require that a, re that a reason be given. Fourth, the city employee indicated that they may not be able to respond because of the volume of the records requested. There is no limit to the amount of records that someone can request. However, if a request will take extensive effort and time to respond to, you can require that a deposit be paid in advance. Finally, the city employee asked the customer to come back tomorrow in order to complete the request. There is no requirement that you contemporaneously respond to a request. However, even if you are very busy, you must still receive the request.